Hey guys, what's up? It's the Chinchilla Notebook here. And sorry I didn't upload yesterday or on Monday, my usual uploading day. But um, I was just, you know, really busy. I know I say that a lot these days, but it's true and I really do try. But it's really hard to do anything and to film on the right days. Like, I got so many good ideas for videos, upcoming videos, and I wanted to start, like, uploading more. But it's just, you know, before I didn't really want to start uploading more and I was busy, but now I do and I'm so busy. So hopefully in two weeks from now, everything should have calmed down a bit and I can upload pretty regularly. Yeah, you eating treats. Today I'm going to be doing a video on all about chinchilla fleece and how to use it with chinchillas. I've gotten a couple questions and although there's not much to say, I thought I would just do this video anyway for those of us, for those of you who are wondering how to use fleece with chinchillas. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into it. So currently I have fleece here and this is Merlin's fleece, like old, old, old fleece liner because the new ones, the good ones are currently drying. There's one, here's another one. I mean, they're already dried, but they were drying. So now I have his old fleece here. But the thing with fleece is it can, it is really nice to use as a bedding because it's first of all cheap they're not that expensive to buy fleece and second of all they last forever and you save so much money in the long run if you use bedding you know how much you're going to have to be using each week when you change all the bedding especially since chinchillas cages are huge it's really difficult so I love using fleece and I actually sweeped his cage and then never put his hut back in it so there it is put it there Anyway, but um, fleece, you just buy it once and you wash it once a week and that's it. You don't have to do anything else. I feel like it's also cleaner because with bedding, bedding tends to get out of the cage and you can't really like sweep up the poop in there. You just have to take it all out at once. And this way I can clean it once a week, a deep clean and sweep it up every day. And that's really works what works for me. Most people like to use fleece once they try it, but there's a couple people who don't, and that's perfectly fine if it doesn't work for you. You don't have to use it, but I really like it. The way that it works, though, is you can buy any fleece out there. I like anti-pill fleece. That's my favorite, and um, blizzard fleece. I like those two, but any fleece will probably do. Just make sure, you know, it's more anti-pill than anything. Don't let it be too, like, some things say fleece, and they're, like, really soft and blanket material, and... That's not good. You don't want fuzzy stuff. The newer liner, um, so it's less used. It, it kind of has this texture. Let me see if I can focus. I don't know. I can't really focus that well, but as you can see, it's like pretty flat and everything. And it's also soft. It's not going to be hard on the chinchilla. And they usually don't uh, chew it. Most chinchillas don't chew fleece. Some do, but very rarely. So what I do is I go and buy a yard of fleece. That's how much I use to make... A liner for a pan and my cage is a Critter Nation model 162 Wow I cannot focus for the life of me I don't what am I doing I don't know okay well anyway um, I'll figure out this camera eventually and what I do is I just uh, cut it so that it fits this little hole here and then just sew it around the edges and then this end here is tucked in as you can see it's just tucked in I don't use any clips it's easily just tucked in and he doesn't dig it up or anything so it's pretty simple straightforward not much to do as far as cleaning it you do have to clean the fleece every week if you don't if you have two chinchillas you might have to clean it every three or four days more frequently what is he doing that is so cute um, you might have to clean it more frequently frequently because there obviously is more pee there's more chinchillas but what I do is once a week I will block him down there using a tile and then I would just you know sweep up all the hay and poop here take out this fleece shake it outside to get all the hay and bits of wood off and then I just throw it in the washer I do a cold rinse cold rinse a cold clean basically I'll just like turn it on move it over to cold clean and that way it doesn't shrink the fleece because it is going to shrink if you put it into hot uh, hot stuff. So I put it into cold. I do use detergent for this. Try to get unscented if you can. And then I just put it in there. Um, I try to wash his laundry with just towels and his stuff, not with clothes. And then after the cold clean is done, I never ever put it in here because it is the dryer because it is going to shrink. So I let it air dry and I usually like hang it over there or in the bathroom and it dries within an hour because fleece dries pretty quickly. 
As far as what it is in the cage, fleece is great because it wicks away moisture, so their pee or if the where's the water bottle? If the water bottle um, leaks a little bit, and um, what's going to happen is it's going to wick away, but it needs somewhere to go, so you need an absorbent underneath. Some people make absorbent layers, and you can even buy absorbent material from like packing places. I don't know. Um, I've never had experience with those, and those work really well, but I just use plain old towels. That's what works best for me. I just cut a towel and put it underneath here, and that's just what works for me. Oh, I think he's peeing. This is how he looks when he pees. Let's see. Anyway, um, so yeah, it's pretty, yes, he peed. He did right there, because you guys, you know, you probably really want to see it. He just went to the bathroom. So, um, and then after I take out the fleece, I always wipe down the tray underneath, with Clorox or some kind of like rag with a wet rag and that's how I clean it up but yeah I do it once a week I change it and frequently it's you know it's not that hard I love fleece because it's easy to take care of and down here it's messy but he I just use tile here because he likes to cool down down cool da down there cool down down there okay whatever anyway he likes to cool down and I just have his wheel down there too that's why I like it to be a little bit cooler also, if you guys are wondering what this is, I just wrote on my hand, hope, random on my wrist, so don't think it's like a tattoo or anything. It's just randomly there. Anyway, that was off topic. So that is how to use chin fleece for chinchillas. Oh, I completely forgot to mention um, how the, the liner works is I, I just like, you know, cut a thing, cut a fleece to fit it and that too and then I just sewed around all the edges except one edge where I put the pan in you need to leave one open so you can flip the pan in whether it's on this side or this side whichever you like and my grandma did all the sewing this is a seam I will show you here oh the AC just turned on no the heat just turned on um so this is how it looks it looks literally professional I cannot focus for the life of me it looks really professional how she did it and here's the opening and Sorry, here's the opening, and then this is how the seam. Okay, so I tried to focus it, and I accidentally ended the video, so, um, anyway. So this is how it looks, the seam. Man, you know what? I'm gonna learn how to focus. I will. I will. Anyway, so that's just basically how it works, and she makes the fleece liner for me. There are videos out there to show you how to make it. Snowflake Piggy is a channel and that doesn't upload anymore, but she used to make them, and that's how I learned to make mine. I can do a video on how to make a fleece liner the next time I buy a new fleece, but this is, like, pretty recent from this summer. Oh, my goodness, there's a spider right here. Can you see it? It's that little dot, and it was hanging. Rule my word, it's coming down. If you don't know, I have a deathly fear of spiders. Oh my goodness. Okay, so, um, I'm just gonna try to ignore that until the video is done. So, yeah, my grandma just made me the liners. So, now I'm gonna end the video because I'm freaking out now. But I'm gonna end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it useful. I do want to mention that I'm going to be doing a Q&A video, personal Q&A video for myself. If you guys... I forgot to mention this in the beginning of the video, but I'll mention it now. I have been asked so many questions about myself, me, the person, the owner of the Chinchilla Notebook, the person behind the videos, and I'm going to finally do a Q&A about myself. So in this video, if you want to, leave any questions you want to know about me personally. It doesn't have to be anything about Chinchillas. It's a Q&A with me, and I will try to collect them and do a video just like I do with my other Q&As. Um, I'm not going to do a face reveal, but I will do a Q&A, a personal one, because I've gotten just so many questions, and I realize that a lot of people might be curious about who I am, and yeah, so just leave questions down. Um, some, I will try to answer all of them, but some I might choose not to answer, so don't get offended. I just don't want to answer them. For example, my name or exactly where I live, I won't say that, but I will say most of the things that you guys ask me if you want to. So if you're interested, just leave me a question that you're curious about, and I will do a Q&A about that soon. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry for the lateness. But, you know, at least it's up, you know? At least it's up. And I'm using my camera, which is really hard to use, but um, hopefully it's good quality, you know? It's all about the quality, and Merlin says bye. I've been crying so long.